Hey, how's it going? John Seymour, and it's a great day here at Berkshire Chevrolet Middleton, following up with you about the pre-owned 2017 Toyota Tundra Crew Max Limited. You found a really nice truck. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick walk around it. It's got the Falcon Wild Peak tires on it. The rim is free of curb rash here on the passenger side. The passenger side quarter panel is free of scratches as well. I see a very, very small paint chip right there that's very minor. You're gonna see normal wear and tear on a truck, you know, this old. The 5.7 liter V8, the front bumper is fairly clean. I can see there's just a little bit of pitting there, very minor from like bugs, normal wear and tear. Over here on the driver's side, just some normal pitting right here that you'd normally see from like minor rock chips or bugs whatnot it's got the front park assist you got the fog lamps here is the driver's side rim front no curb rashing again falcon wild peak tires having a look inside i think you're gonna like joe that this truck looks like it's been undercoated um i can see kind of how it's been put in there with the polyurea that's a real big plus for a guy like yourself that's concerned about the longevity I also noticed it on the back of the truck, which we'll get to in a minute. Here we are at the driver's side front door. I don't see anything major as far as scratches goes. Again, very, very, very small rock chip just right there on the door. When you pull out, you can't even see it. Uh, the lower rocker panel is texturized. Pretty normal on a Chevy these days to help reduced wear and tear and make the truck look newer longer. Toyota manufactured running board. Things are looking a little bit rusty underneath here, but that's what you would expect to see on a running board. Heated mirrors, blind spot detection. JBL sound system, leather seats, Leather wears in a truck, usually right here on the bolster you can see. Coming and looking around, like you said, you want to see a wheel or inside the molding. That's a good spot to look for rust. Not looking too bad. You can tell that the owner was in the same mindset as you. I don't see any bubbling or anything there that would be a concern. Here on the door shim, everything looks pretty good shape. Same thing on the rocker. That driver's side rear door, very minor scratch right there. Pull out again, you can barely see it. There's a rock chip right here, and you can see the scratch there again. Fairly minor, I think a dab of touch up paint that would probably clear itself up pretty easily. Back seat looks like pretty normal. Looks like the owner took good care of it. Got the WeatherTech floor liners. Let's get down and look at the well and the molding again. Looking pretty clean. Again, kind of what I'd expect to see from somebody that undercoated their vehicle. They're trying to protect their investment just like what you're looking for to get as long out of it as possible. You can see just a little bit of rust right there, which is gonna happen in Wisconsin on the running board bracket. On the back, driver's box side. I don't see anything major here. Walking around, I don't feel scratches, except for there's one right there. It's kind of weird where it's at, but it's fairly minor, especially with the gray. Gray shows wear and tear very minimally. There's our leaf spring with a little bit of rust. Pretty normal. But there's our polyurea from the undercoating. I think it's a very honest assessment of the rail. Zooming out, coming around to the back bumper on the driver's side. Right here. Doesn't, it looks like mostly it's clean but you can tell that somebody might have just kind of grazed something here. Again, I mean, I'm being more 
than transparent with it and that I wouldn't be too concerned about it just if you looked at it in person. I think it doesn't look bad. I don't see that it's pushed in or anything like that. Everything looks like the lines up pretty well. Back bumper, dead center. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Trailer hitch looks clean. I know we do touch those up. Driver's passenger side rear bumper looks pretty decent. I don't see anything major there. Everything seems to line up pretty decently, giving you a really honest assessment of the truck. The tailgate, I don't see a dent in the tailgate from anything hitting it or anything like that. Looks good. There's your backup camera. Spray and bed liner. Nice tonneau cover. There are the WeatherTech floor liners. Coming down the rear passenger side box side. Right here, again, very, very minor scratch. You can see it right there. The gray really blends it pretty well. Now you got the rear passenger side door. I saw just a very small chip right there, as well as right there. A little bit of touch of paint. I think this would look really good. No dents though. Coming inside here, again, rear passenger door. Things are looking pretty decent. The molding, kind of what we've seen on all the other ones. I don't see anything major here. The brackets, same thing. And this, and this running board actually doesn't look too bad on the curbside, which I would probably expect going down the highway. The power sliding rear window with the uh, defroster. There's our uh, sunroof there. The leather looks good. I don't see any major wear except for on the driver's side on the, where you get in. Here we are at the front passenger door. Just a very minor mark right here. I can't see a whole lot of it. And right here, yeah, that's just where I shot earlier. Front passenger side seat, looking pretty decent. Again, the bolstering, that's where you're gonna see the wear. 100,000 to 5,000 miles on a six year truck. Here's the molding, like you said, you wanted to see it. It's free of rust. This is really honestly a pretty clean truck for this model here. Navigation, XM radio, there's your heated seats. Your traction control, your trailer brake controller. Rear view mirror. Sunglass holder with the roof controls. Here we are at the front driver core or passenger, excuse me, quarter panel. Sorry, I got a little confused here. Uh, aftermarket antenna brought it down a little lower. Very minor rock chip right there. Otherwise, inside here, you can see that this has been undercoated. This truck's in actually pretty clean condition. Professionally speaking, I'd rate the truck about an eight out of 10. I mean, that's pretty normal wear and tear. Is it a perfect cream puff? No, but for a truck with 105,000 miles on it for 2017, I can really tell you this is an honest walk around and a very good assessment of what would be a very honest, clean used truck. I'm here to help. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. There's your blind spot monitoring off on switch. I really love how Toyota does the power sliding rear window. That's so cool. There's your driver information center showing them the odometer for the car. Full transfer case. And again, I'm gonna send you the car facts. And I can tell you that the vehicle has never been in an accident. Please 
Let me know what kind of questions you have. I'm here to be your honest eyes and ears. Let me know if you'd like to come down and take it for a test drive. Thank you.